How are fossils made? By kscience.com. This here is a dinosaur, and the soft tissue has decayed, leaving the bones behind. And the soft tissue has decayed. So decomposers such as fungi, bacteria, and detritus feeders will decompose the soft tissue, and the soft tissue decays quickly, leaving the bones and the teeth behind, because they don't decay as quickly. So teeth, bones, and shells don't decay easily. We're now going to look at how this bone here became a fossil over millions of years. This here is a dinosaur, and it dies. Microorganisms such as detritus feeders, fungi, and bacteria are going to decay the soft tissue, leaving behind the hard bones. When the soft tissue is fully decayed, only the bones will remain. And over many, many years, sediment is going to cover the bones. And over many millions of years, as the sediment builds up, the pressure is going to build up and force minerals into the decaying bone. So as you can see here, this is an area of decay. And these are the minerals in the sediment. And the pressure is going to force the sediment into the bones, which will replace the decayed bone, forming a rock-like fossil. So this is called mineralization. So right now, the minerals are replacing the bone and forming a rock-like substance. So this is called mineralization. The minerals are replacing the bone and forming a rock-like substance. So as more pressure acts on the bone, more minerals are going to fill the gap left behind in the decayed bone. So now minerals are entering the gaps left behind by the decayed bone. This is called mineralization mineralization and as the bone decays over more time minerals are then going to fill all the gaps left behind by the decayed bone in the process called mineralization this forms a fossil this forms a fossil whereby the fossil is made of rock-like material and this is an example here this fossil was found underground it's question time Attempt these questions to check your understanding. The soft tissue of this snake decayed quickly leaving behind the skeleton of bones. The skeleton of bones was then covered in a soft rock like clay. So if the organism decays in soft rock and the soft rock as seen by the yellow color hardens, and the hardened rock is represented by the brown color, it will leave behind a cast. So now the clay has hardened around the skeleton. Over many years, the skeleton is then going to decay, leaving behind a cast of the skeleton in the hardened rock. This is a cast fossil. This here is soft ground like clay. This organism's foot steps in the soft clay and leaves a footprint, as you can see here. This causes an impression of the footprint to be left behind in the soft clay. So this here is an impression. So if the soft clay hardens, the impression will remain as a fossil. So the rock hardens, leaving an impression. These are examples of impression fossils. These are examples of fossils caused by impressions. These are examples of fossils caused by casts. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This here is a tree, and this mosquito is sat on the branch of a tree. This is amber that comes out of the tree as a liquid, and it can run onto the mosquito. And if it solidifies, it's going to turn into solid amber with the mosquito preserved in it. A mosquito can be preserved in the amber. This is because no oxygen can get to the organic matter 
for microorganisms to respire. No moisture can get to the mosquito and no water can get to the mosquito for the microorganisms to undergo their cellular processes. So there is no decay. So this here is a real image of a mosquito trapped in amber. So this person here went on an expedition up a mountain. And because it's so cold and sub-zero temperatures, their body will be preserved because the microorganisms will not decay the organic matter. So people have been found preserved in ice, as you can see here. So this is a preserved fossil of a human that was found in ice, and that is thousands of years old. And because it's so cold and sub-zero temperatures, their body will be preserved because the microorganisms will not decay the organic matter. This here is a peat bog. And peat bogs are too acidic for microbes to decay whole humans. This is an example of a whole human fossil that had been preserved by the acidic conditions of the peat bog because microbes could not decay it because the microbes could not survive in the acidic conditions. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. We are yet to find every single fossil. There are still going to be extinct organisms that humans haven't found yet, simply because we have not found the fossil for that extinct organism. Firstly, fossils are normally found under the ground or in exposed ground. Therefore, we simply haven't excavated every fossil that exists under the ground. The reason why we've not found every fossil of every organism that has ever lived is also because most organisms will decay before fossils are formed. Another reason why we haven't found all the fossils is that the tectonic plates move, which means that the fossils will have been destroyed as the tectonic plates move beneath us. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.